Well, everyone, iOS 26 got a bit of an update on CarPlay. So I wanted to go and kind of compare the iOS 26 CarPlay versus iOS 18 CarPlay and see what the differences are, what the main differences could be. Number one, going from iOS 18 to iOS 26, our CarPlay is now getting our, you know, basically our liquid glass design inside of it. So this is a pretty big change. When we compare it, the previous version to this one, having that newly, you know, updated liquid glass design is actually something that's super cool. And you're going to be able to see that inside of this type of device when it comes down to it. So it runs throughout. It's just like iOS 26's, you know, a liquid glass design. And it is actually a really nice thing to have. On top of that, messages got a massive update. So now we can respond to messages with our standard tap backs like a heart, like a thumbs up or exclamation mark right inside of CarPlay. So if you want to, you can go through and just thumb something up right inside of CarPlay. iOS 18 CarPlay didn't really have that. We also have pinned conversations. So now you can go ahead and have a pinned conversation right inside of your messages app on CarPlay and you can have that right there. So if you're tech, if you're driving or something like that, you can get very high level information inside of CarPlay right there which again is another very cool thing to basically have. iOS 18 didn't necessarily have that type of capability, which is kind of interesting. Now, one of my favorite things is this new compact view for phone calls. Within iOS 18, whenever we got a phone call, it would basically take up the whole entire display and we would basically have to just kind of go through and either close the call. And if we were getting a text message, like let's say we were like following the, the map or something like that on our display and we got a call, it would take over the whole entire call, like whole entire screen, which was very annoying. Nowadays within iOS 26, we don't really have to worry about that anymore iOS 26 will now basically go through and just have a little tiny call indicator come up at the bottom. And that right there is another very cool thing to basically have here as well. We still also maintain live activities. So within iOS 26, you can go through and showcase live activities inside of your iPhone, which that right there is another really cool thing that we can basically have. And another really cool thing is we can now go through and we can essentially within CarPlay, we can now add our own widgets. So CarPlay, even the regular version now has a widget screen. So you can add things, you know, that are accessible. So there's some new widgets that we can basically add. And this is another really cool thing that we basically have. And like we stated before, iOS 18 CarPlay didn't necessarily have that type of capability. And another really cool thing, you're not going to believe this within CarPlay. We now have the capability of going through and streaming videos from our iPhone to CarPlay when our iPhone is parked. So if the iPhone is parked and it detects that it's parked and there's no no, no motion going on, it can go through and basically play these videos while you're actually parked. That was a big thing a lot of people wanted to be able to do. And now we have that type of capability inside of CarPlay, which is just another super awesome, amazing thing to basically have. So those are basically the main things, you know, that we can do inside of iOS 26 CarPlay that we couldn't necessarily do inside of iOS 18's CarPlay. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.